Hello everybody, this is an old calculator, a Payen P3A. It's a mechanical calculator, and looking at the serial number 3104 should be built around 1897. The name is after Louis Payen, a great engineer who started to build these calculators based on the original arithmometer. So this Payen model is part of the arithmometer family. The first arithmometer was invented by Thomas de Colmar in 1820. It was the first calculator to be produced in series and sold all around the world, and it was the leader calculator in the second half of the 19th century. Around 5,000 arithmometers were built between 1850 and 1915 various models. Louis Payen started to build his Payen arithmometer in 1888. He started to improve the arithmometer, introducing a betterment of the totalizer and counter reset system, a better readability, a reinforcement of the restraint mechanism, possibility of inclination of the case. This Payen model, the P3A, was built starting from 1996 and uh, were built uh, only around uh, 150 devices of this model. But at the beginning of the uh, 19th century, there were already a lot of competitors of the arithmometer, both clones and new technologies. Despite uh, many betterment uh, made, the arithmometer was still complicated to build and costly. And after the First World War and the scarcity of copper and raw materials started the decline of the arithmometer. Now let's see how it works. It has a wood case. Here there is a compartment with a cover. The commands. There are the sliders to set up the numbers. This is the display with 16 digits, and there are 8 sliders. With this little lever you select addition and multiplication, and subtraction and divisions. This is the crank to enter in the calculation the numbers set up with the sliders. This little crank is a reset for the counter of the operations. This other little crank is a reset for the numbers of calculations. Let's see the operations now. Addition. The lever is in position of the additions. The first digit is the unit, the second is the tens, and the third is the for the hundreds. With these sliders, I set the first addend 230. Then I turn the crank one time and 230 is in the display here. Then I set the second addend 42. I turn the crank one time and we see the result 272. Simple multiplication. Let's say 432 by 3. The lever is in multiplication position. With the sliders of the numbers, I set the first factor of the multiplication, 432. Then I turn the crank three times. And here the result. 1296. I can check if I correctly turn the crank three times here. So it's correct. Multiplication. But if you have to multiply, let's say, uh, 122 by 23, it's not so handy to turn the crank 23 times. But there is a simpler system. 
With the sliders, I set the force factor here as usual, 122. Then I turn the crank three times for the units in 23. Then I move the carriage one space on the right, and I turn the crank two times for the tenths in 23. And here the result, 2806, it's correct. Subtractions. With the sliders, I set the minimum here as usual, 4080, and I turn the crank. Then I set the slider in subtraction position. Then I set the subtracting for 100. And I turn the crank. And here the result 4400. Division. I will do. 2016 divided by 32. I set the 2016 here on the left of the carriage using these little wheels. I set the lever in division position. Then I set the divisor here, 32. And the carriage is moved all on the right. Now you see the 3 is higher than 2, you cannot subtract it. So I move the carriage one position left. Now 20 is higher than 3 and we can go on. So I turn the crank. Till now, 0 is less than 3, and I move the carriage again, one position left. There is the 9, is higher than 3, and I can turn the crank. Now there are all zeros in the display, and the calculation is finished. The result is here, 63, it's correct. After 130 years, the calculator made of gears and levers still works. Thumbs up for the great engineers Thomas de Colmar and Louis Payen. Thanks for watching.